Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, February 28th, and I'm just sitting here playing some games on the computer because it's time for me to go to work. And then, yay, three days off, I'm so happy. It's supposed to rain, but I don't care, it's supposed to be 60 and rain tomorrow. Great sleeping weather, great time to finish up my projects and get them in the mail. Let me tell you, with that sound of that rain outside, it is hard to stay awake. This is for groceries. Um, and some household items that I need. And then I gotta do dishes. I've got laundry to do. I gotta wash all my uniforms again. Um, and I gotta get those ferro rods done and pack. Hopefully they're gonna have them done today. Um, and it is raining. Holy moly. I think they said it's 60 degrees. Let's look at the Well, here's the ferro rods, and uh, I put glow-in-the-dark paint in the ends of them. And of course, I coat them in true oil so they're nice and hard and shiny. And here I'm showing you how good that stuff glows. Pretty cool. Yep, it's in that one too. The striker and the ferro rod have the glow paint. Here's something I thought you might like to see. Sawing a ferro rod. Um, my fingernails are all black by the time I get done doing this. But uh, I have a little squirt bottle. I spray the uh, ferro rod, the saw blade, and that cloth that it's sitting on so I don't start a fire, uh, which is very easy to do because as you can see, this thing sparking, holy moly, it's like the 4th of July going on. But uh, that's how I cut ferro rods. I cut them with a hacksaw. Just thought I'd show you that. This was a ride out to Amish country again. There's my grand, couple of grandkids. Grand puppy, Nova. <laughs> <laughs> and as often happens, you get behind the uh, horse and buggy, and this poor guy gets cut off by a truck. Very inconsiderate truck. That horse was like, oh shit, I almost died. The horse. He got, it's confused, it's going the wrong way, because he was turning. These are the corn uh, stalks, they stack up, I thought that was kind of a cool picture to show you. This was a lot of flooding going on up in Amish country, because they're at the bottom of a bunch of hills. And the snow melt is really bad. Well, it's a good thing I took a look at this uh, plaque I made for uh, Diane. I forgot to put the hanger on the back. <laughs> See, here's what I did with the back. I didn't finish it because it's the back. It's going to be against the wall. But I did sign it and date it. It was completed in February. Um, yeah, so that's the back. I never do anything with it special. And here's the front. I hope she likes it. Um, I like it. Um, it, and like I said, it's for her, uh, I don't know, woman cave? What do you want to call it? Workshop, woman cave? She'll come up with a cool name, I'm sure. There's pinging noise outside the window. And it stopped again. Let's see. It was like, um, it almost sounded like it was raining, but it's not. It's those little tiny little snowball things. It's coming down a little bit harder now. Change of plans for today. I just got through. <laughs> They're weird shapes. Some things are weird shaped and you have to wrap them weird. Anyway, um, plaque, fur rods, fur rods. Going in the mail, I um, was looking at the calendar, and today is Thursday, uh, March 2nd. Tomorrow is my daughter-in-law, Corey's birthday. And I thought, uh, let's go ahead and take her shopping today, because the weather's funny, but right now it seems to be fairly good. Uh, she said the roads are a little slippery down by where she is. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get those. i got to get dressed, because... Da -da, Batman. I, uh, I can't go in public like this. Well, I could, but I'm not going to today. So I got to run, get dressed, grab those, drop them off at the post office, and quick drive out to Dunkirk, grab her, take her shopping for her birthday, and back home, and then do chores. Dun, 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 dun.